Hello, I'm Sasha Van Stratton. I'm an educator who's worked in primary and secondary education in the UK. Before becoming a teacher, I was a video journalist, a TV director and editor. I want to share some tips to help you make the best impact from recording for Flipgrid and the MSFT EDU chat tweet meets. Let's start with the video itself. It's important your audience isn't distracted by the background or framing of your shot. Aim to get the camera level and straight. If you're using a webcam on a laptop, try to angle the screen forwards so you can avoid that up the nose shot. It's off-putting and distracting. You can do this by propping the laptop up on some books or boxes. If you have an adjustable laptop stand, this works pretty well too. Most of us are likely to use a smartphone. It is a great option. But hand-holding the camera gives an off-center angle. You can buy cheap laptop and mobile phone mounts from online retailers. I bought mine for just over $10. Getting the camera level with your face means you can address your audience properly without looking on sideways. You don't need spotlights or any other professional gear. Simply finding a well-lit room will do. LED adjustable lamps that you might find at home can give useful extra illumination. If you are filming with daylight, don't place yourself directly in front of a window. You will end up as a silhouette. Your light source should be at right angles to you, so to your left or your right. Your frame should include you and something of interest. Keep in mind what's behind you. Is it appropriate? Does it contain sensitive material if you're filming in your school classroom? These are all concerns you need to address. We want our audience to get some sense of who we are as co-hosts and what we do. If you're filming at home, consider whether office backdrops are going to be suitable. Bland walls are not the most inspiring of backdrops. In another video, I will show you how I use green screen at home to take my teeny tiny home office and turn it into a more visually pleasing setting. Sound-wise, most smartphones and laptops come with great mics, but if you want, for a few dollars more, you can invest in a, a lapel mic. It's simply a small device that attaches onto you, clips into your phone or, or laptop or tablet, and that will help improve the audio clarity. Please though, do avoid the air traffic controller look if you can. It is much better to speak clearly and perhaps a little bit louder than normal rather than have a headset with a mic attached. You're not bringing aeroplanes into land. You are addressing an audience about edtech issues. Um, you can use apps to help you record. Uh, I use one for iOS called Green Screen. It imposes an artificial background, but it also gives me auto cue functions. Similar apps are available for iOS and Android devices. These allow you to import a script and then have it overlaid on the screen while you record. These do help you gather your thoughts and focus on presenting to camera. Talking of which, when we speak to camera, we use a slightly slower rate than normal. We're looking at around four to eight words per second. It feels way too slow when you start recording, but it gives the viewer the time to think about what it is that you're really saying. It's better for a showpiece video to pre-record your piece to camera rather than go straight to Flipgrid. Do not worry if it takes you a few goes to get it right. Do use an app to trim the start and end of your video. It's what we call in the TV business, topping and tailing. Your viewer shouldn't see you pushing the record button at the start or the end of your video. Remember please therefore to pause for five to 10 seconds at the start and the end of your message. It gives you the time to edit out the points where you are pressing the record button. Lastly, be aware that waving gimmicks and even your hands too much can be distracting if you overdo it. That's why pre-recording a message gives you the chance to review how you look and sound. What is most important is that the audience feel engaged and get some sense of who you are and why they should trust you. In my next video, I'll talk you through the key points needed to get across in our promotional videos. We've hoped you found this short guide useful. Please do get in touch if you'd like to know more. Thanks for watching.